What's up guys? Welcome to the channel and welcome to Weird West, or should I say, howdy, y'all. Come on down to the Weird West. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to be talking like that. But anyway, let's get into this. This is a top-down, twin-stick, ARPG slash CRPG, M-Sim, light-ish? I don't know. Depends on who you talk to. But uh, anyway, it's, it's an occult-themed... Wild West shooter. Anyway, let's get into this. Okay, so this now starting off this game right from the get-go. Um, this game does break one of my cardinal rules of games. Is it starts with a cold opening, so you start up the game, you go through the, you know, rights and pro you know privacy settings and all that stuff, and then it ends up. Uh, going straight into, uh, you know, the game. So I had to <laughs> very quickly close out and all that stuff. I'm loving the accessibility and all the options that are available for this, by the way. I think I'm going to leave everything the way it is for now. There's the controls if you'd like to see that. But anyway, let's get into a new game. I'm thinking we're going to have a... Uh, Pretty decent length first episode here, probably around 50 minutes. Let me guess, friend. No idea who you, who or where you are. Sorry about that part. Yada yada yada. Branding's ready. Okay, it's, it's a little fast. Then it's time. Off you go. We're counting on you. Not the face, not the face. It's like my left cheek. Okay, so from what I understand, this game takes place over one story, one whole story, over the course of five different characters. Well, I guess that was supposed to be my cheek, or not, not my cheek, my uh, my neck. You can see the character over here has the brand on the neck. Anyway, uh, we're going to go normal difficulty, tutorials on, English is fine. What other settings do they have for English? For language. It's actually a pretty decent... Uh, Decent selection. Okay. Uh, advanced settings, we already kind of looked through that, so let's do this. Enable pre-order bonus, yes. So the pre-order bonus for this, uh, as I believe, is the horse calamity. So. Somewhere in the weird west. Used to me, you were one of the most feared bounty hunters in all the west. But you gave that up. Buried your irons. Traded them for a normal life. Tonight, though... That's all going to change. Destiny's calling. And it ain't taking no for an answer. Nothing like a scruffy-voiced, generic, western narrator to start things off. Just having a bad time. You ain't taking our land, monster. Not after land. Take the adult, kill the kid. No meat on the bones. Now let's move. Law's coming. In the air. Smell of gunpowder. Your son dead in the dirt outside. And a burning at your neck. Like you've been branded with a cattle iron. Floods almighty. Can't be. I gotta find Jane. Jane! Jane! Okay, uh, right, I don't know if we need to, like, take anything here, so I'm just gonna, gonna move on here. Right stick for the controls for the camera, of course. Open doors and stuff. Jane, you're alive. Jane! Heard gunshots from the town. Came running. It's those still waters. Floods take them. Looks like they hit every farm on out here to Galen's Crossing. They, they killed your boy. We'll bury the bastards for what they've done. But I ain't seen your husband, Alonzo. If they took him, we gotta move quick before the trail runs cold. Which way are the still waters headed? I ain't seen where they went, but I got one of the still water bastards back in the Grackle Jail. We could squeeze the dog for answers. Better grab your shooting irons, partner. Got a feeling we'll need them. Alright, 
Where, where do I find my gauge? What? You forgot? We buried the, your old revolver out back with the rest of your gear when you retired. Once you're healed, meet me back at the jail. Look, I know you thought you was done with those bounty hunting days, but they ain't done with you. Alright, let's head out. Here, take this portable relay, newfangled. Good for communication, in case we gotta split up. I'd say welcome back, but I reckon I won't. All this southern twang. Empty. I like when stuff tells you it's empty before you actually, uh, you know, get to it. Objective tracking. Gain a new objective tracker will appear on the edge of your screen and lead you to the objective location. So what do we got here? Strawberries. Don't really need to take all that. We've got some iron slag. So it looks like food you just kind of eat automatically. What do we got here? We've got a pitchfork. Okay, let's pick that up. Sure, why not? My boy! Huck Bell! My son! Name Huck is sewed into the bear's paw. Killed my boy. I think taking the food might be a good idea. I've seen a bit of this game so far. Oh, it's interesting. Carry the wooden horse. Don't know if there's much that we can really get from here, but uh, we will do some exploration. At least a little bit here. I don't want to waste too, too much time. Digging up treasure. You'll find plenty of treasure buried in secret mound caches across the Weird West. That shovel might come in handy for digging it up. Or for burying your dead. Burying the dead, definitely. Shed key. Okay, good. Tongs. I don't know if we'll need tongs, but... Can be resold. Okay. Can be resold. Sure, why not? Um, this game does have limit, limited uh, inventory spaces. As you can see here, we got 11 out of 48 filled up. That's good. It's nice that we can sort the inventory for all sorts of stuff here. We got abilities, perks, all that stuff that we're going to get into a little bit later. Map, not a whole lot to see there. The pre order bonus, so I guess I can show off exactly what that says. Check your farm mailbox for more information on how to get your core horse calamity. Unlock the shed. Anything in here worth uh, getting? Another shovel. From what I understand, uh, shovels do end up uh, do end up uh, actually breaking on occasion. So you do have to be a little bit careful about that. Jeez, I got dead pigs, dead wolves, dead everything. Ridiculous. All right, let's get our stuff here. Dusty parcel. An old bundle stuffed with the life you thought you left behind. Pistol's grip matches your palm exactly. All blue. Been a while. Alright. Not too bad. Aiming your weapon. You found your first pistol. Hold L2 to aim. Fire with R2. You find some bottles of practice on nearby. Okay. Not too bad. It looks like an auto type of reload. Looks like we can kind of adjust where our point of uh, impact is. That's not too bad. It's a little, it's a little drifty, as far as all that's concerned, but it's not too bad. I do like how it kind of shows you point of impact with the red line and the white line and all that. I'm not gonna waste any ammo here, but uh, not nice. More pistol slugs. Traveling. Time to get moving. To travel to another location, head to the edge of the area you're in until you reach the area limits. Then press X to open the travel map to select your destination. You got it. Um, I think there's like some corn. Yeah, we can get a little bit of corn here. I don't want to spend too, too much time in the uh, in the beginning here, but uh, carry. It looks like we can interact with and carry almost anything. Food that we could realistically eat. Can just eat straight up off the ground. Mm -mm -mm. Love me some ground squash here. Lettuce. And just eat lettuce. All right. Let's not search all the empty things. We're gonna bury our son. Mm. 
you can dig them right back out. Um, I'm okay. That's, that seems a little bit much. I don't think we missed anything in the house. Oh, do things stack in my inventory? Yes, they do. Okay. I don't know what the stack limits are, but uh, I guess we'll find out eventually. Nice. Chicken feathers, chicken egg. Right, let's kind of meander here for a second and see if we lost anything. Got some jerky. Wow. Cabinet. Stuff to sell. I wonder if the trade value for junk is all 12 bucks. I'm not going to bother with picking a whole lot of stuff up just yet. But, uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's... Oh, nice. Eight and even. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here, I suppose. There might be some stuff that I missed out on, but... What we got in here? Supper after the spirit hall meeting. Jane... Ought to come to supper next week after the preaching's done. Morgan's making his famous rabbit stew, Huck's favorite. Let me know when you next come into town, Albright. P.S. Hope Huck's liking that new teddy bear. Chloe insisted on sewing it special for his birthday. Dang, man. Alright. Calamity's bad ankle. Howdy, Jane. Just right and let you know Calamity's ankle is healing up fine. She's not as young as when you two used to ride across the west hunting bounties. But she's still got plenty of fire in her... Uh... Acting like a filly again now that she's walking better. She's ready to head on home whenever you got the time to pick her up. Flora even rustled up some spare saddlebags for her. Mint as you please. Morgan, P.S. Our cellar flooded again. You believe that? Good thing Calamity don't mind smelling the mud on me. <laughs> well, guess we'll have to check that out. So, what do we got here? Albright's Stead. Sheriff Albright and her family built this home. Optional, receive your horse from Albright's Stead. And Grackle. We should probably go get our horse. So we got travel. Oh, coyote attack. You encounter a couple coyotes. Got them coyotes. Poison clouds are flammable. It's good to know that that old RPG stable or staple is uh, all good to go. Gotcha. You can see him on the mini map there. Okay, so distance does affect your overall damage. Alright. So the X to reload is an interesting choice. Alright. You can shoot off one bullet as you please. So you reload one bullet, you can shoot one bullet because it's all chambered and everything. So, let's... Uh... Do all this. I'm not gonna do the accidental berry thing. Hey, rifle rounds. Nice. No rifle to go with it, but hey. We got ourselves a knife. Got ourselves a niffy. A knife. That's pretty good. We'll probably run with that for a little bit. So you can eat cactus fruit. Okay, we got most of our stuff back here. Travel supplies. You found some raw food. Stop by any location with a fire or stove to cook up a meal and regenerate some of your HP. I'm okay with that. Uh, got a bunch of eggs. Alright, can we overheal? No, we cannot overheal. Okay. That is good to know. Alright, well, let's not waste any more time here. Oh, that's cool. Drink from cactuses cacti, if you will. Oh, and it does a uh, nice thing there on the mini-map, top right. You can see one of these X's is white and the rest of these are black. That shows whether or not you've searched something. Not necessarily if you've taken from it, but if you've searched it. So, let's go ahead and continue on. It takes an hour to get there. Save someone's life and they might show up again later to return the favor. Got it. Triangle is our kick. That's good enough. Good thing I wasn't in front of these pigs. Pet those pigs. Here's our horse. It's calamity. Hey there. Oh yeah, it's flooded all right. Looks like we got a wet status too. Is this thing just pouring water in? What the heck? 
ridiculous. Where do there human bones and skulls and stuff in here? That's kind of weird, right? Yo, there's a lot of human bones here. I don't think I want this meat, <laughs> to be honest. The bone is considered a weapon. That's good to know. Chalk. Okay. Spurs. Yeah, I'm not going to go crazy grabbing everything here. Limited inventory space and whatnot. Oh. Got a uh, cleaver and a golden ace of spades. So that does do more damage, but it's slower than our knife. Okay. Sure, why not? Okay. Take that. What is this? Golden Ace of Spades. You found a Golden Ace of Spades. These mysterious artifacts can be used from your journal to acquire new perks. Oh, nice. Okay. That's neat. Locksmith, 25% chance to save when your lock picks. Decent. 10% more money. Do shop prices and fees. Posse member damage. Explosives, high jumper, sneak up on stuff, extra healing, move faster, fire rate during a dodge leap, reload speed, maximum HP, speed while crouched. Well, when it comes to these types of abilities, right, the best thing to do is to pick the thing that will have the most value over time. So that would be like, you know, Scrounger and lockpick saving and stuff. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pick Scrounger for now. That'll be fine. Okay, so that was worth coming down here, I suppose. Got some shotgun shells. Don't need the jerky. Beer. Sure, why not? Junk. You found a junk item. One person's trash, another person's treasure. Sell your junk at any general store to make some quick cash. Scavenging for junk is a good way to earn a buck or two in the weird past. You got it. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm tired of having wet socks. What was the proclivity for wearing socks in the West? Alright, let's head on out to Grackle. Can I just pick, like, anywhere? Oh, yeah, news? What do we got here? Owner of the infamous Lantern Room brothel missing. Uh, oh, interesting. Some cannibalism going on. Um, you can read that at your leisure. I'm not going to spend all this time reading stuff. Can I, just, I can just go anywhere. That's kind of cool. Let's uh, go to Grackle, though. I like when a map like this lets you go anywhere, because you can probably chance upon some interesting stuff. From what I understand, um, aside from that first coyote attack, uh, encounters in the, the map are random. So, Panic in the air. there is some bad stuff going Folks on holler. here. Death and dirt. Dang. Alright, let's not do stealing. <laughs> if we can help it. Well, it looks like some bad stuff happened here. Pedro, your irons. Guess we should call you Bounty Hunter again hear people trapped in the fires. Why'd they even attack us? We got nothing to take. I can still hear the screaming. Don't even know how we lost, or how many we lost yet. Alright, so still waters must have came through here too. Which, bit of a shame. Upgrading weapons and smelting ingots. Any copper, silver, or gold nuggets you find or dig up with a pickaxe during your adventures can be either melted down to upgrade your weapons or turned into ingots at the blacksmith's shop. I think it's going to be resold for a better price at the nearest bank. Just look for the ore buyer. Will do. Now, one thing I'm kind of curious about is whether or not there's a, like, expand search option. Like a radius that can go around you to search things. Don't think so, but... I haven't even tried all the controls yet. What do we got here? L2 is your aim, obviously, with whatever weapon you're using. R2 is your attack. Slow attack isn't too slow. Uh, R1 is accessing your abilities and slowing time down a little bit. Uh, square is jump. Circle is your little dodge. Triangle is your kick. 
L1 is choosing your weapons, of course. Uh, you can zoom the camera in and out. You can keep a mid-distance for now. Uh, L3 is your crouch. Uh, your various D-pad buttons are obviously going to be your... Tamed Wolf thing. Are obviously going to be your consumables and whatnot. We'll find out what all those consumables do later on. Cole, all that blood. Jeez. Jessica. Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Let's revive her. You good? Can't take anymore. They take everyone. Where's my family? Dang. Everything went bad. Uh, I don't know how useful a bedroll will be. We'll, we'll go ahead and take one. Let's check out the saloon here. Innkeeper. They didn't even take anything. All they wanted was people. Dang. Bounty hunter gear. You going after him? Got your bounty hunter gear back on? Yes, I do. Dang, they even ransacked the saloon. Monsters. Alright, yeah, I already read that one. Dead people everywhere. Alright. Jeez, they messed this place up. We'll probably be able to come back later. Don't mind me taking these shotgun shells, do you? Oh, a rake. Nice. Okay. Everything seems pretty well messed up here. Uh, we'll probably be able to come back here and visit the shop and whatnot. Hey. You. Lawrence. Thought I'd never see you wear those irons again, bounty hunter. like how you can kind of hear them off in the distance like that when you're not in the immediate vicinity. Already red. Okay. All right. <coughs> Got to say, it's good to see you wearing shooting irons again. And farming life never did suit you. Now let's give this Stillwater bastard the squeeze. Oh, you tell us what we want to know. We'll only break a few fingers, leave you enough to scratch your ass with. I used to run ammunition, not abduct people. What's different? K kiss my ass, lawhound. I ain't telling you cuss. See, thing is, when your voice shakes like that, I don't find you convincing. You find a convincing partner? Why don't you turn the screw on this asshole? Ask nicely, threaten to give him the angry f town folks, and say outside, break his pinky. Let's ask nicely. Let's see what happens. You don't understand. I, I tell you, he'll he'll do worse than kill me. He'll eat me. Hmm. Let's promise to protect him. You will, Jeb. Even even if I made it out there out here, he he'd find me. Maybe these bars is my best bet. Uh, all right, our old boss, Pop Stillwater, he's gone. We got a new boss. It's Shelby Cross. Shelby Cross, Flood's Almighty. He ain't no man. He's a siren. They ain't normal. They, they eat people. I've been trying to track down Cross for years. Now we're close enough I can smell that cannibal bastard. Where'd Cross run off to, huh? Where'd he take Jane's husband? I, I tell you, when you, you promised you'll keep me safe. I guarantee you safe. You really think these bars are strong enough? You keep, keep watch? Lock and key? Yep, help me. All right. After our hit on Grackle, we were all meeting up at camp. It's five hours northwest, toward Offerton Valley. You hurry, you, you might still catch him. Well, now, you played him like a fiddle on blues now. Trail's hot, no time to lose. I'll haul around that relay if I learn anything useful. I gotta stay here. I gotta stay here, keep the town safe. You keep them floods out of that Stillwater camp, here. You got it. So, it's sirens who took your husband. Flesh eaters. Best find that Stillwater camp while your husband's still got blood in it. Yeah, that's that's probably for the best. Jane, praise Yeb, you're here. 
Margaret. Jane, it's it's my husband. Husband, Santiago, the blacksmith. Them Stillwaters took him. He was screaming. I couldn't do nothing. You're wearing your bounty hunter gear again? Never thought I'd see the day. You heading after him? Say you are. They took your husband. So you aim to find him. If you if you come across my Santiago, make sure he comes home safe. I'll give you anything. I, oh, how about my pistol? You'll need good irons on your work, won't you, please? Agreed. You always been a good woman. I bet he'll be locked up for the rest of them. Or with the rest of them. Keep your ears open. I bet he'll call, call out if he sees you. I ain't got much left but my pistol. It's yours if you bring my sweetheart home. We're in the, uh, when the world gets so dark. And things like sirens started showing up. Uh, filled with love. Wishes my command I would take, or I would walk uh, barefoot through Pig Eater Bog for the slightest hint of favor from you. I would trek through El Castillo to bring you the rarest of desert flowers. Please, beloved, I beg of you, show me some sign of your affection. Well. Okay. I guess let's go. Five hours north, huh? Wilderness Desert. Stillwater Camp. Traveling merchants. You come across a merchant's wagon. Stop the camp. Alright. Traveling merchants. We could probably drop off some of our junk. If we see the need. Doris. Heard about Grackle? Terrible business. Might head that way to see if they need supplies. Just gotta make a little more cash first. Surprise goods. What do we got? Bandages, lockpicks, rope, another shovel. Let's uh, sell all our junk first off. I'm not going to be selling a teddy bear or my wedding band. I don't sell for too, too much anyway. Uh, the food doesn't really seem worth selling. So that's fine. Uh, I don't think I need to worry about buying any of this stuff just yet. Fosing Webster. Meeting folks like you out on the road is what gets me up in the morning. Next time I see you, better bring some <laughs> good stories from your travels, huh? Browse goods. Uh, same thing. Okay. All right. I think we can head on out. Infamous gunslinger. Ever fought a ridgeback? Better watch your step if you're traveling through the woods. You got your snake. Hides and leather vests. Animals like deer, beers, bear, beers, bears, rattleskins, and bison can be skinned with a skinning tool bag for their hides. Just interact with the animal for the option to skin it. Hides and skins can be sold at trapper camps or used to craft or upgrade vests. You can find tanning stations in most lost fire nation villages or in trapper camps. Got it. I like how people react to the sounds, you know? Got some snake meat. Nice. And can't skin it because we don't have the tools. I think we're good to go, though. Uh, let's reload. It's like using a shotgun. You want to reload where you can, not just when you're out, right? I heard some complaints for the combat in this game. So, we'll see how that goes as we travel on. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is drop off some stuff here. Uh, we don't need all this corn. We can kind of drop off a lot of this food and whatnot. Keep the shovels. Drop off the nugget. Okay. Good to go. Keep in mind you can always interact with cacti. Yep, that's good. Uh, press square to jump or climb. hoo -yah! Okay, pretty generous as far as, uh... The climbing and whatnot. Move silently, yep, crouching with L3. Let's get a stealth takedown. Knocking out unconscious enemies. Press R2 in melee range. Note the unaware enemies wants us to take extra damage for all your stuff. Got it. Gotcha. Gotcha, sucker! Hiding bodies, of course. Uh, what do we got here? Sharps to quick iron. Looks like all of our stats are the same, so let's just scrap it. 
Got some ammo from that. Not too bad. I like when you get the option to like blow out torches and stuff too. That's a nice touch. Okay, stealth. While crouched, enemies are less likely to see you. You can even get stealthier by moving through tall grass or approaching at night. Well, it's the middle of the dang day for us. There's not a whole lot we can do here. See a rifle there. Wouldn't mind getting that. Easy. Okay. One rifle round, huh? Not too much help, huh? Well, good thing we got some more of that. Switching weapons. You found a, a weapon of a new weapon type. Hold L1 to open the weapon wheel and switch between weapons. You can also perform a single tap to switch between your previous weapons. Does that work with melee? It does. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Using cover in combat. During combat, crouch L3 behind cover to protect yourself from enemy fire while you line up your next shot. And while aiming, you stay crouched, but firing your weapon automatically causes you to stand. So choose your shots carefully after firing, you'll automatically crouch again. Understood. Understood. Nobody fucks with the still waters, yeah, if you say so. Okay, so I would assume that we can distract our enemies with... It's not get seen here. Let's see here. If I toss this, Ooh. Ooh. yeah. So the closer you are, the easier it is for the people to see you. Understandably. Now, can I see? No. Okay, I was gonna say, can we see uh, like the throwing angle on this? not. I didn't think that they would have... Oh, that was close. Okay, so you can see how long they're going to stay distracted, so that's good to know. But I think we're going to go ahead and just initiate some combat here. Let's see, I got 70 life. We'll probably do 20 damage at this range. I got messed up. I think I got hit by that explosion. Right. Let's load last save. I think that was not too far ago. I don't know how generous the autosave is in this. Yeah, I think the dynamite got me with that. Yep, okay, so we're way back here. That's fine. Ooh. Let's speed run through this. Sucker. Okay, let's scrap that. Good to go. Yep. Yep. Interesting. Weapons. Guess we could try this out, see how it works. Okay, yep, using cover, got it. So let's try out the rifle. Ooh, I shot the... going. Oh, 
Oh, they shoot you like the second you pop your head out. <laughs> That's good to know. Okay. Scrap that. That's an interesting gun. We'll take it for now. Pistol slugs. Thankfully there's a fire here so we can heal up. Okay. Not the most graceful of fights, but that's okay. Now, I don't know how much noise we make, but... fan of shotguns. Dynamite. Oh, I will take some dynamite. Found some dynamite equipped throwable projectiles by holding L1. Note that when aiming L2, you can tune a projectile's throw distance with R1. Got it. Let's take a look at this. Interesting. That's... I don't think that's the way I would have chosen to do that, but... Okay. That's good to know. We'll keep the rifle for now. So, yeah. Is that a grave? It is. Bones. Bones! I think I need to worry about collecting some bones. This will be all right. Quick saving and experimenting. If you want to experiment with a new or risky approach, nothing's off the table in the Weird West from sneaking through a map fully unnoticed, traveling to locations you might not be ready for, or even putting important story characters in the dirt. You'll always be able to complete your journey one way or another. However, you might want to quick save prior to trying anything risky as an, as an inopportune death awaits those unprepared for the challenge. Loiter. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you can hold square to do that. So if I loiter, loitering doesn't regenerate your HP. Will come in handy if you're waiting for a different time of day. Loiter if there are enemies close by. Oh, okay. So that just goes straight to the next type. Using the environment. Using the environment against your enemies, you can shoot out that oil lamp nearby to spread oil all over the grass and start a blaze, creating a deadly trap. Ooh, I like deadly traps. Let's see here. It's a little awkward at times. Ooh, you gotta blow up your own buddy there. Alright. Not too bad. They're all dead. Better magazine, less damage, and we got a bearskin vest. Nice. Vests won't stop a bullet, but it might still save your life. Vests increase your armor, reducing the amount of damage you take. You can buy cheap vests at dagger and bone shops in most towns. The trapper camps will provide higher quality vests. Got it. What is this glowy thing? A nymph relic. Nymph relics. You found a nymph relic. The petrified claws of these long dead creatures can still be, or can be used from your journal to acquire a new class and a weapon abilities. Okay, so I'm assuming these use our AP. What do we got here? Fan the hammer, high noon, 
Lightning rounds. Ooh, electric bullets. That sounds fun. Both barrels, next shot does critical damage. Uses two shells. Ooh, explosive shells? For the shotgun? That sounds pretty cool. Fire shells without having to reload. Bullet hail. Firing speed is increased by 20% for 10 seconds during the time each successful hit increases firing speed, speed by an additional 10%. Guaranteed critical hit that ignores armor protection. Sentry silencer. Next shot is silent and also increased damage. That sounds really good. Bow. Ambush bow. Stuns its target. Splash arrows. All arrows. De shots deal damage in an area around the target. Any current effects or any effect currently applied to your arrows. Fire, poison, stun. Armor piercing is also dealt. That's pretty neat. Heart finder arrow. It ignores your target's armor protection. Targets stuck also bleed. Fire arrow rate increased. Nice. Melee abilities. For 10 seconds attacks do an additional 50% damage. Damage bonus increased to 100% if the target's currently bleeding. Hmm. Spinning strike. Strike all targets within melee range in a single spinning strike. Not too bad. Huh. Damaging them and leaving them stunned for 3 seconds. Melee attack is increased by 50%. 10 seconds on your next attack. Rush quickly into melee range and deal high damage to your target. That's a nice little tackle kind of a deal. Doesn't look like we can throw our knives. That's a little upsetting. Okay, what do we got here? Roundhouse kick. For 20 seconds, your kicks deal more damage and objects are thrown further. Shrapnel mine set a trap that explodes when enemies approach it. Okay. Charm. For 8 seconds, enemies around you become your allies. Hmm. What happens after the 8 seconds is up? Do they just revert back to enemies? Mm, I don't know. Six seconds time slows, but you move more quickly. Hmm. Kind of liking the idea of the sentry uh, silencer. Let's go ahead and get that. That sounds like a good ability. Weapon abilities. You can use weapon abilities by holding R1 and then using triangle, circle, X, or square while aiming. Using abilities consumes action points. Understood. So, yep, there it is. You can use it by pressing square. That is good to know. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a uh, bunch of dudes over yonder. We got a oil barrel, or TNT barrel, rather. Got some bottles. Look like Molotovs. Uh, is that ammo? What happens if we shoot ammo? Oh, that'll tell us the radius of the explosion, too. That's good. Yeah, what happens if we shoot ammo? That guy we can take out a little bit. Huh. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, okay. That's pretty neat. Oh, blocked shot. Run! that one. Come on out, you. I know you're melee. Missed. Where are you going? I don't think so, buddy. Alright. He's got a machete, a fork. I'll take the machete, I guess. Grab that. Take that. I'm not gonna take your forks, you dang cannibals. Oh, remove poison status. That'll be good for us. Yeah, I bet, bet if we shoot those, uh, those cocktails, those will also work out for us. Dynamite, you can obviously shoot to explode. And we got a simple deer hide vest. Oh, I didn't even check to see what we've got for vests. Uh, protection 5% and lightning resistance. Bearskin vest. I think we'll just stick with the bearskin vest for now. 
Okay. Reload that a little bit. Bandages, bedroll again, no clue. Nice. Another lockpick. We could probably take this with us, why not? Could be fun. Glad we can still crouch while using this stuff. Dodge leap. While aiming, you can leap with circle to slow down time. Ah, oh, okay, that's how you do it. Got it. Uh, can I throw this over this? Is my question. Because that could be useful. Oh, nope! That just threw it straight into me. Okay. I do like the leaping. Let's try out Sentry here. Interesting. Okay, well that was a little messy, and I ended up just throwing the thing right on me, so let's uh, try not to do that in the future. Maybe I pushed the wrong button. Ooh, flashback. Nice. Okay, we can't scrap machetes, unfortunately. Hmm. I wonder if this smoke is like... can work as a smoke screen. Oh, well, there's the footprints. Fill this back up? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Alright, let's see what mistake I made here. Did I not... No? I don't know. Maybe I hit the rock in front of me on accident. I mean, that's what I wanted to do. But... Oh well. It is what it is. Get up here. Can. Empty. Take those wildfire cocktails. Okay, so that does take AP. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. It is what it is. Alright, let's uh, investigate this. Clean boot steps. Still waters weren't too careful covering their tracks. Path's clear. Okay. Good to know. Let's uh, head off, I suppose. That's obviously where we're headed, to the tracking site. Right, well, anyway, as far as the first episode is concerned, I think that is going to do it. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. I apologize for how long it took me to come out with this episode, but I had some stuff that came up in my personal life. Stuff that I'm sure none of you want to hear about. But uh, anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, bye bye